In this video, I will do a system demo on how to use supplier payment terms in SAP S4 HANA, how to activate the net or the gross method, and the related financial entries under both of them. But before we start, there are two important notes. Number one, this is the second video on payment terms. In the last video, I explained the business process and the related financial entries under the net and the gross methods. So click on the link here to watch the last video before you continue watching this one. Number two, in the video description, you can find the video chapters which you can use to understand what I'm going to explain in the video today. Also, you can click on any chapter to go directly to the point you are interested in. The payment term is part of our agreement with the supplier, so it has to be inserted in our purchase order. So let's start by creating a PO, transaction ME21N, and fill all the details as always. Then in the header details, go to delivery slash invoice, here you can see the payment terms. And as you see, the payment term is selected automatically. So how did SAP determine this payment term? This one came from the master data of the vendor. To see this, I'm going to double click on the vendor here. This will take me to the vendor master data in the supplier rule. Then go to the purchasing view. And here, as you see, the payment term maintained in the vendor master details is 0003. So whenever we create a purchase order, SAP will automatically use this payment term by default in the purchase order. We can still change it manually, but this will be the default. Now let's go back to the purchase order. And I'm going to change this percentage from 3 to 5, for example. And we can also do this. So even though the payment term is configured to be like this, we can change any value we want manually as per our agreement with the supplier without having to change the payment term configuration. So now I change it the, the discount for 14 days. I change it from 3% to 5%. If I hit enter, SAP removed the payment term that was mentioned here because now there is no payment term configured and we are using manual values. So this is going to be my payment term. Now I'm going to save and here is our purchase order number. Now I will post a supplier invoice to see what will be the payment term in the supplier invoice. So the transaction is slash n m i r o. Insert the invoice date and the purchase order. Enter. Now if I go to payment details you see that we have the same payment terms that we mentioned in the purchase order. Baseline date for me would be the same as the invoice date, 0203-2021. Enter. And then insert the amount, 10, and the quantity, 2. Go back to basic data, insert the full amount, and save. So this is how we use the payment terms with purchase orders and invoices with reference to PO. The payment term is coming automatically from the vendor master data from the purchasing view. Now, on the other hand, we can also post a supplier invoice without reference to a purchase order. So in this case, how will SAP determine the payment term? Let's go and see how this works. So the transaction to post a supplier invoice without reference is FB60. So slash N FB60. Enter supplier invoice without reference to PO. So the details, I will insert the same. Our supplier is AG01. Insert the invoice date. And the expense that we are going to insert in the invoice. And the total amount, let's say 1000. And the tax code. Enter. Now, if we go to the payment details here, here you can see the payment term. And as you see, this one is different from the one that we found by default when we created a purchase order. Because when we create an invoice without reference to a PO, SAP is using a different method to determine the payment term. This one is coming from the vendor master data from the accounting view, not the purchasing view. To see this, we can go to the master data of the vendor, so click here. Then select the role for the FI supplier. Go to company code view vendor payment transactions and here you can see the payment term 0002 this is the one that sap will choose by default when we try to create a supplier invoice without reference to a purchase order so now you see that in the vendor master data 
we have two payment terms. We have one in the purchasing view and we have one in the accounting view. This is a very common SAP certification question and interview question for FI consultants. You have to understand that when we create a purchase order, SAP is going to pick the payment term from the purchasing view. And when we create a supplier invoice without a purchase order, SAP will pick the payment term from the accounting view. Now let's go back to our invoice. And I'm going to save the financial entry. Then display it. So go to document, display. And there is our financial entry. We have a credit to the supplier and a debit to the expense account. And as you see, this is the gross method. You should already understand this because you already watched the, the last video where I explained the financial entries. So this is the gross method. So why did SAP choose the gross method? This is based on the document type. So go to the document header details here. And you can see the document type is KR, vendor invoice. Now, if we check the configuration of the document type, right click, go to help, then click on this and click on continue without project. So for us, we are working on accounts receivable and accounts payable. So I will choose this one. SAP open the configuration menu directly on where we can maintain the document types. So open the transaction by clicking here, then go to the document type KR and double click here. So this is the configuration of our document type. And as you see under control data, there is a checkbox, net document type, which is not checked in our case. So this means SAP is using gross method with this document because we did not check net document type. But if we check another document type, for example, key in, double click, this one has net document type checked, which means that if we use key in, SAP is going to activate the net accounting method. Now let's go back to our invoice and try using KN. So I will go back. Now I will create another invoice with the same details, but this time I will use document type KN. Once you change the document type, SAP will give you a warning. Then you have to hit enter to pass the warning. Then fill the details. And again, if we go to the payment tab, we can see the payment term. So we get 2% discount if you pay within 14 days and if we pay within 30 days we get nothing then I will save now display the financial entry and this is the supplier invoice under the net method we have a credit to the supplier of 1000 we have a debit to the expense of 980 only and we have 20 posted to discount cleaning account this is the same account that will be cleared when we do the payment so now you see the difference between the gross and the net methods when we post the supplier invoice. Now let's go to the payment and see the other financial entries. So before we do the payment, I'm going to display the line items of the supplier. To do this, we use transaction FBL1N. Then insert the vendor account AG01 and then choose open items and the date. So now I am going to display all the open items we have for this supplier as of today. In the demo today, I have created three documents. I created one invoice with reference to a purchase order, one invoice with document type KR, and one invoice with document type KN. But also before the demo, I created similar documents. So now we can see for every invoice, what will be the financial entry, if we pay with a discount, and if we pay without a discount. And I will continue the demo with these documents, KR and KN. So now I'm going to pay this one. So this is the invoice that we created with the gross method. So I will pay this document and we'll get a discount so we can see the financial entry. To do a supplier payment, the transaction is F-53. Then insert the document date, the bank account, the vendor account, value date, and the amount we are going to pay. So the invoice is for 1000, but also we get a discount 2%, which is 20. So I'm going to pay 980. And to find our invoice, click here, document number, insert the invoice number, and here is our invoice. So I will double click here to activate. And as you see now, because I'm paying within the payment term, I'm going to get 2% discount, which is 20 EUR post. Display the financial entry, document display, 
And here is the financial entry for the supplier payment when using the gross method. We have a credit to the bank account of 980. We have a credit to the discount revenue received 20 and we have a debit to our supplier 1000. Now I'm going to post a payment to the other document of the same document type KR but the other one I'm going to pay late so we can see what is the financial entry when there is no discount. So I'm going to pay in May. So the document date will be 0205-2021. Posting date is also 0205. So this way we can see what is the entry when we are late on the payment. And then the bank number account number is the same. The vendor account number is the same. Amount is 1000 this time. Value date is also 0205-2021. To find our invoice, I will click here, document number. Then insert the number of the other invoice. Now, as you see this time, there is no discount because we are late on the payment. We exceeded the payment term, so we don't get any discount. Now I'm going to save and display the financial entry. So we have a credit to the bank account of 1000 and a debit to the supplier of 1000 and there is no discount. So this is the financial entry for the supplier payment when using the gross method and we are late on the payment or when there is no cash discount. Now I'm going to repeat the same process for the document type KN so we can see the financial entries in case of the net accounting method. So again I will go back and I will pay in March. So this way we are within the payment term and we should get a discount. And the account for the bank is the same. The account for the vendor is also the same. Amount is 980 because we get a discount. Value date 0203-2021. Again, to find the invoice, click here. Here is our invoice number. Then double click to activate the line. As you see, we get 20 discount, the 2%, because we are paying within the payment term. Now I will save and display the financial entry. So this is the financial entry for the supplier payment when using the net method. The entry is a credit to the bank account of 980. And then we also have clearing vendor discount for 20 credit. So this is the account that we posted when we did the vendor invoice with the net method. The account now is cleared. And then we have a debit to the supplier of 1000. If you have any questions about the financial entry, I explained it in detail in the last video. Now I will go back and do another example using another document type KN. So again, the net method, but this time it will be late. So we don't get any discount. So the document date is 0205-2021. I am posting in May, so this way the payment is late. And again, the value date is the same. Bank account, supplier. And this time we are going to pay full 1000. There is no discount. To find the invoice, click here. Document number, here, all right. Then double click to activate the line. And this time there is no discount because we are late in payment. And then save, display the financial entry. So this is the financial entry of the supplier payment in case of using the net method and there is no discount. So we have a credit to the bank account of 1000. We have a debit to the supplier of 1000. And then we have a discount loss of 20 debit and we have the clearing vendor discount is credit for 20. So this is the account we posted in the invoice. It is cleared now. Now I will do some print screens to show you all the financial entries at the same time. And here are all the financial entries we posted today for the supplier payment. We have the net method and the gross method. Under each one, we have two entries, one with a discount, one without a discount. This is a very good screenshot that you can use to review the process whenever you forget. Hope you found the video useful. If you have any questions, you can leave them to me in the comments. Also, don't forget to share the video with anyone who is interested and subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting access to member exclusive videos, you can check the channel membership program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.